Hey guys, it's Noah here and I'm back with another YouTube video. So this video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Corsair RGB Strafe Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. And I'd like to say this is a very, very quality product from Corsair. They do not disappoint. And uh, with mine I got blue switches, which I will explain in a second what they are. But if you want a good mechanical gaming keyboard that you can use every day for not only gaming but productivity, then this is a good option. It is quite pricey at around $150, so just keep that in mind. Basically, a linear switch like the Cherry MX Red is you press it down and you don't feel anything in your fingers. You press the switch down and it will activate without giving you any type of uh, warning that it has activated. Whereas the Cherry MX Brown switch will give you a bump in your finger to let you know when it's activated. And an MX Blue switch will bump your finger and you'll hear a tactile clicking noise. So basically, if you want a keyboard... For this is probably the best switches for gaming, you should probably go for red because they will not slow you down with any type of tactile noises or bumps in your finger. But if you like to be warned that your keys have been depressed, then you will uh, probably want to go with brown. They don't make that much noise, but the, you will feel the bump in your finger and they're also very good for double tapping keys. And then if you like the tactile click and you like the sound they make and you want the bump in your finger, then you should probably steer towards the Cherry MX Blues, which I have on my keyboard right here. I will do an audio test later on in the video if you want to hear what they sound like. Um, but basically, like I was saying, this is a very quality keyboard. It is very, very good for gaming no matter what switch you choose. Uh, don't let people tell you that blues or browns or reds or, all, or any of them are bad for gaming. This is a very good gaming keyboard regardless of the switch you choose. Um, I just recommend choosing a switch that fits your preference the best and if you can test your keyboard out at Best Buy or whatever to see which switch you like best I would highly recommend doing that. Blues kind of fit my personality the best. I like the sound they make and the clicking that I hear and they um, require a lot of force to push down. Not like a crazy amount of force but enough force so you're not accidentally clicking them. Now all inside the box we have a wrist rest which might I mention feels very very quality despite it being plastic. It feels very quality to sit your hands on. You will not get any fatigue when using this wrist rest at all. It's very comfortable. It feels more quality than it looks. The video doesn't really do it justice, but uh, believe me, it's, it feels very nice. You get standard documentation and warranty guides, which are pretty minimal. If you want to find out more about the keyboard, you might as well just go to Corsair's website and look in the forums and stuff like that. But um, I'd like to mention you do get a two-year warranty with this keyboard to replace any defects or... Uh, anything that wasn't your fault for it breaking over time and uh, Corsair does stand behind the product so you should be covered in the chance that it would break but it is very solid construction and I doubt mine will be breaking anytime soon. Comes with 10 keycaps total basically you get the Q, W, E, R, A, S, D, and F keys that are textured and you get an extra copy of the W and D keys what I mean here is these are textured keycaps so your fingers will gravitate towards them when you're playing games. Obviously the WASD keys so that you can um, move in FPS games, but it also comes with the Q, E, R, and F keys so that you can activate stuff during MOBAs and stuff like that. But um, there's an extra copy of W and D keys because um, basically when you're using the WASD keys, you will um, want to have the textured all gravitate towards each other so that you're just you're you just feel the WASD keys, but when you're playing mobile games, you'll want the extra copy of the W and D keys so that you'll, your fingers will all gravitate towards MOBA keycaps. That way, you're not clicking the wrong keys. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm explaining this well or giving it justice, but when you put on the keycaps and try to play games for yourself, you'll see that they're it indeed does make it easier to play. I'd also like to mention that the build quality on this keyboard is very solid. It has a very nice construction despite the way it looks. It is plastic on the outside, unlike the K70, which is all aluminum, but it has a steel innard construction. So basically, it's only plastic on the outside. The rest of the construction is steel, so that makes it feel very heavy and very solid, despite it looking very plasticky. Right here, I'm going to have an audio test so you can hear what the keys sound like.
So if you're into that kind of noise, go with the Cherry MX Blue keycaps. You will not be disappointed that what you hear is what you get. And um, although my mic quality, I was using my camera mic to record that because I forgot to record it with my actual microphone. Sorry about that, but um, it pretty much what you heard is what you'll be getting, even though that recording isn't the best quality. If you are into that noise, then you will definitely enjoy the Cherry MX Blue Keys. With it, you get the keycap puller that I just showed you, pulled off the W key. And uh, like, I hit, like I said with the textured keycaps, you just pull off the keys and put them on. Don't worry. It does take a little bit of force. Don't think that you're breaking it or anything. Trust me, you're not. But um, it is really good because it does. the textured keycaps actually keep your keys looking nicer. Like if you ever get sweat stains and uh, oils on your keys, it will look very ugly and dirty. And it doesn't look very nice at all. But these textured keycaps make it look a lot less ugly and dirty. You can't really notice this stuff. So um, it'll make your keyboard look nice and clean. And then when you want to use it for typing, you can put back on the regular keycaps. It comes with two USB ports like I showed before. If you have a USB 3.0 computer, then you only need to use one of the USB ports. But if you only have USB 2 ports open, then you need two USB 2 ports. One for the lights and one for the keyboard itself. And then if you're going to be using the pass-through port, I believe you need to use two USB 3.0 ports if you want to use USB 3.0 pass-through. I'm using the G502 Logitech mouse with the pass-through, and I have experienced no latency delays, nothing like that, so you should be good. No problems there. It feels, uh, everything feels very precise and uh, accurate. So, um, like I was saying, who does this keyboard apply to? Basically, this would be someone who's serious about you want a keyboard that you're not going to be replacing anytime soon. And uh, you want to be able to have a lot of style and customize the colors of your keyboard. Then this keyboard is for you. But um, you better have a big wallet if you plan on spending money on this keyboard as it is $150 for the Cherry MX Blue version unless you can find it on sale or something of the sort. But like I said, very, very quality keyboard that will last you a very long time. Another thing I'd like to mention real quick is that the software that comes with the keyboard is kind of confusing and has a very large learning curve. That's why I didn't show it on screen. I'm just showing you how the LEDs work. But it is pretty confusing and it's going to take a while to figure out. So make sure you just play around with it and you will probably get it eventually. But if you like this video guys, please like the video obviously. Comment in the comment section if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.